<laughs> they, they're still Selena and everything around oh, here. Still What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are late. <laughs> yeah, so we were supposed to hit the road like an hour ago, but I woke up late, Ty woke up late, and uh, that's just what happens, right? But we got plenty of time. We just got to get to the uh, autocross location site, uh, switch wheels and tires, and then we can start uh, you know, doing all the autocrossy stuff. So, since I've got my street tires on the Challenger, I gotta have Ty help me uh, transport my autocross tires. Now you can see these Demon wheels, they're the exact same wheel, but they have a different paint scheme on them, but we'll get into that a little bit later. But I don't like driving these tires on the street because it's so far. I'm driving from Austin to San Antonio. And last time I drove them, they just got kind of from like all the construction and everything. One tire got gouged pretty bad because uh, they are a softer count, uh, compound. So that's why I wanted the second set so I can have my street tires to drive to the event. And then I would normally transport these with Ashley, but she had to work. So Ty had to step in <laughs> and help me transport these puppies in. Here, so. but late. <laughs> yeah, we're here, but we're late. So. Got a bang energy, got coffee, let's hit the road. Got the BFGs, rival lesses on the car, and uh, we've been fighting the rain, so it's gonna be a little bit of an aqua cross. Uh, I got Ty on the uh, camera duties here, That's right. and uh, helping me hustle through since we got here so late, but it's all right. The rain kind of slowed everything up and has given us some more time to uh, get everything settled in. So I know I've got the, uh, so I'm gonna put a GoPro up on the glass like I always do and I got this GoPro right here so you guys can get a different view of maybe my hands or uh, what the inside of the car is looking like and so I'm actually gonna go and walk the course one more time I've only walked it one time it's a pretty open course I really wish it was dry out because that'd be really good for big cars like this Hellcat behind me or my Challenger some of these uh, Corvettes and Camaros, bigger cars that just like to, you know, go faster. So, we gotta work with what we got. It's gonna be a wet course, and I know we're running first, so I'm gonna walk this course one more time and then uh, get some driving action. Oh, behind the scenes. The candle cut. The candle cut. Mmm. Ooh, look at all this dirt already. All right. Oh. Oh. Right. Oh, this thing is going to be. I do like, like, I like the fiberglass look of the spoiler. Because you can see through it? This is how, that's how the Z07 package is on the Z07. Yeah. This dude's going to be slipping and sliding. He's on those nittos. He's on this. He's on my street tires. <laughs> he going to learn today, boy. All right, let's walk this course. All right, guys. I have yet to sit in Brian's new status seats. Uh, we've been talking about these seats for months. Oh, yeah. And couldn't be any better. Oh, yeah. Super comfy. Insanely comfy. You could ride in these things for make any of the trips we make down to Dallas, Houston. Oh, yeah. Man. I love these things. The quality is just insane. And this big, I don't know what you call this, layman's terms. The fact that this is separated is huge. The fact that you kind of have like independent, your legs are, I call it independent cushion, whatever the heck you want to call it, but it feels amazing. You would never get sore in these. I'm a like 32 inch waist, so, but I fit great in them. Yep, absolutely love them. 
can't wait for my set. racing goes we're having a little bit of an issue got some clunking in the front end not really a clunking but it's more like a buckling uh, just kind of when we t going just to the left brian will tell you more about it here in a minute but just gonna keep going those are gonna send it if it breaks it breaks you know then we know what's broken if it's broken if it's fully broken you know it's broken if it's just a little broken it's hard to figure out what's broken just break
guys. That's gonna wrap up our four runs of the day. Uh, so when we switched the wheels and tires, Ty was talking about this, there was a little bit of a shudder in the front end that we can't figure out what it was. Uh, and it wasn't consistent. That was what was worrying me. Uh, so I could turn the wheel full lock and back up or go straight just like at idle speed. And there was like this buckling feeling. So I, <laughs> so I see you're messing with me. So I have no idea what it was. Uh, so I, uh, my first one was 68 real slow. It was really wet out there. And then I just kind of cut down time. Uh, I cut time down from there. So it was like a 68, uh, 64. Uh, my third run, I had a spin, 63. And then my last run, I just said, you know what? If something's gonna break, it's gonna break. And then I know what's wrong with it. And I ran a 59. So I should've just ran it hard from the beginning and not worried about it too much. So now I'm gonna put my street tires back on. That way I can drive this thing on the freeway, get it from San Antonio back to Austin. And just like everything else that I put off, like I broke that bolt, we're gonna figure this thing out later. But right now, I'm cold, I'm wet, I'm hungry. Uh, so we're not gonna try and diagnose this whole situation right now. So Ty's waiting for me, let me get to work. Come on, pit crew, pit crew. All right, let me get to this. Let me get. All right, guys. Like I mentioned earlier, at one point in the video, I'm here with Vet Motorsports, and I've got the vice president Rob Diggy to talk about more about Vet Motorsports and what they do and what their mission is. So let's get right to it. What's up, Rob? What's going on? So, like you said, I'm Rob Diggy, vice president of Vet Motorsports, and our goal is to get veterans out of the house, get them involved in something, empower them through motorsports. So anything motorsports. We do. So today we're autocrossing. Tomorrow we may be at the track. Next weekend we may have you inserted into a pit crew on an F4 Gas Monkey Indy car. So we just love to, to, to bring veterans out, stop the 22 a day suicides, and just keep motoring on. I love it. So you mentioned uh, you, you can be on a pit crew for an F1. Because you guys did a NASCAR pit crew thing, right? Yes. You did a NASCAR one as well? We did. Okay. So, I mean, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, where can we find more information? So, vetmotorsports.org. You can see what we've done in the past, the different veterans, anything about us. And then there's a link to go and find out where we have where we have other events going on so look it up it'll tell you uh, different areas we're all over the United States so I think there's like 19 different regions of the SC the SCCA that we're doing and we're here at Saska and we do spokes and other organizations out there all right guys so that's it in a nutshell so I'm a veteran if you're a veteran and you're looking to get into motorsport and you don't know how to get started check out vet motorsport and you don't just come here and they throw you in a car and you're like, go drive. I mean, it's very, uh, there's a lot of teamwork involved, right? And it's kind of like a crawl, walk, run kind of situation. So you can ride along with people. You can kind of come out and see how everything is ran before you commit to jumping into a car and trying it yourself. So definitely check it out if you're a veteran. I love this organization. I actually found them at an autocross event when my car broke down and they came over and helped me out. And then that's when I found out about them. So Rob, thank you so much. Thanks for uh, having me here again with you guys and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you. We'd love to have you out. All right guys, so we finished off the Aquacross event yesterday and then we had a boogie and get to uh, Circuit of the Americas really fast. So I didn't finish the video. So I'm finishing it now. It's nice and sunny, it's not raining. And of course I got the Challenger right here. Now the problem was that when I had the wheel turned completely lock left or lock right, there's this buckling sensation, almost like the car is running over something like really small and I can't tell what it is. So we thought maybe it was because these front tires are so wide and my uh, BFGs are so sticky that they were actually just dragging across the ground uh, because of all the rain on the ground. So what I did was I got in this parking lot, church, and uh, I pretty much tried to recreate the issue that I was having and it still has it. So, I have no idea what it is and uh, I just know what it feels like. So, I think the next step is uh, gonna have to jack the car up and check what it is because only when the car is under load, that's only when the car is in drive or reverse, full lock going at about an idle speed, completely lock left or lock right, you can feel it. I have no idea what it is. Could be the rear diff, could be the drive shaft. I really don't know. So, all I know is that the last time 
that I really drove this car hard. I mean, we really drove it hard. So whatever it is, it's something that's about to give and I just can't find it just yet. It sucks because this is the most dialed in the car's ever been. I got a really good alignment on it. Uh, the six point roll cage, everything feels really good. But again, last time I drove the car, I, um, I, I pushed it to the absolute limit. And it was one of those events where we drove the event, put the car up on the trailer, took it back home, and then we kind of shut it down for a little while. School picked back up, work picked back up, and I haven't really been able to drive it or test anything else out. So this just lets me know that there's something else on the list that I need to start looking at and digging into to see what the heck it is. So as always, if you guys like these videos, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and if you love these videos, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys. Peace out.